I, oh, what? what which, why did you just come from the? Yeah. You just came up like you were underground. Oh, because Where I did you came, come from? So there's a table right here. So I went under the table to get to. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> So, yes. guess what? what? Guess what, Cynthia Rio? Guess mm. what? You're a guest on Ladies First. You know why? Why? Because you're first in what you do. Yay! See? And you just are a giver of, of, of total joy. And thank, um, you. thank you for joining me. Now, you are joining me from Atlanta, Georgia. I am. Yes, I am. Where it's at. You are down there right now filming the Aretha Franklin Genius. You and I met on a photo shoot. Yeah, with my Kors, um, right? For Michael Kors. Yeah. It was a sort of a, a, it was a dinner party idea. It was like all yeah. the jazziest ladies in town. Um, and Ooh. Michael Kors, and I took a picture of you then and yeah. there that had you and your fingernails and, and you, fingernails. Had a, you, had a, you had a whole Shazam. Yeah. And now, funnily enough, about three something years later, we took more artful pictures. Yes, we did take more artful pictures, yes. Yeah. For the cover of InStyle Yay. Magazine in October. So, Cynthia, we're going to do a jazzy thing. It's yeah. called 10 Firsts. Okay. And I'm going to ask, guess what? There's 10 of them. Um, okay. Okay, first thing first. First drink you order. Ginger ale with ice. Oh, nice. Ginger ale with ice, yeah, lots of ice. And maybe a squeeze of lemon. Refreshing. Do you drink? Yeah. I forget. I don't drink. No. That's right. God, you're so no. pure. It's <laughs> so. You just get worse. Okay. First thing you can look at on your phone in the morning. First thing you look at on your phone. My messages, like like texts and stuff like that. Do you ever get overwhelmed with that? I don't because they're usually from really lovely people, and they yeah. for some for some reason the people that text me in the morning genuinely start off with "Good morning," and it's always really nice. <laughs> Yes, that's courteous. Quite nice. It's quite nice. And also, people in England, your family, have been up for ages. So yeah, yeah they've been like, up for ages. And you're if you're in LA, good morning. I don't get good morning from anyone. Oh my gosh. Okay, first person you call. Um, my partner. Your partner in the law firm. In, the, in my life. Yeah. No, there's a there's a, a law firm that you run. I know. It's a, a Revo <laughs> and partner. <laughs> LLC. LLC. <laughs> First joke you remember? Oh, I'm not a good. I'm not good with jokes. I don't remember any jokes. Yeah, I'm not cut that. You know what? I've tried that one. It doesn't work. I'm not good with jokes. Fine. I, you know what? Fine. I'm not going to ask it. I don't care. I don't care if you have a joke. I don't give a <laughs> okay. First. <laughs> First fashion splurge. First. Oh, my first fashion splurge. Yeah, oh, go on. Cool. My, no, I'll call it, this is my first proper fashion splurge and that was my Chanel bag, my first Chanel bag. Color? Black, just simple black. When did you buy it? Right after the color purple. Where is it now? It is currently, well, I'm in Atlanta, it's in New York, uh, in its bag, in my, my closet. Lying dorm. Oh, you have a place in New York too, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, you're so... No, but that's what I live in New York. Yeah, I know, I forget, because to... you're everywhere, because you, yeah. you're global and things. What's your favorite thing to do in New York? Shopping in New York is really fun. Mm. It just is. But if you can find a really good restaurant after a show, go and yeah. see something really good. You go and have some dinner after the show, just chill out and then head home. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, and just to that point, Broadway shutting down and everything I mean, about yeah. COVID and when they extended how long that was going to be, yeah. you just did a really, really lovely um, Instagram live at late yeah. at night. <laughs> yeah. I was off to bed and I turned you on. And, um, but just such real solidarity and empathy yeah. for uh, for people who are working because that's a, that's a tricky one to have plan B's yeah. when, when you yeah. are physically having to do that every night. Yeah. So I, I think, I'm sure that was, was deeply, deeply appreciated. Um, yeah, no, I, do. I just, because it's, you know, that is also part of a community that I love very much. So it's just devastating to be honest, to be honest. it's just devastating that they can't get back to work and there's still more waiting to be done and there are people whose livelihoods mm. depend on the shows that they do and you get paid per show there are people who have rent and bills to pay mm. and mm. if they can't do their shows when they thought their shows would be running for a year yeah and that was the get that was the guarantee yeah guarantee loosely yeah. Yeah. um so when yeah long story short when everything happens again everybody go to five shows a week please forever. go please. see the shows when they come back because yeah. we, we need it yeah. We need it. And then you can go have a lovely dinner after. Yes. Whether it's vegan or not. Also, doesn't yeah, matter. those restaurant mm -hmm. workers also need, like, they need you guys all to All theatre row, all those guys. Yeah. So yeah. What, what a glorious time it will be. Um, yeah. 
It's the first time you owned your shit. Oh, probably when I was doing backing vocals. Yeah. And I realized that I was being underpaid mm -hmm. and it was late at night. I wasn't being given um, travel home. And I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm not doing this. This is bullshit. Pay me properly and yeah. put me in the car home. And I remember going, if you don't do this, I'm not working for you anymore. And they, they did it. They did it. Yeah. That's the thing. You remember those moments? You remember yeah. when you just started with the controller? Very clearly. I was like, I'm, I'm done doing this. It, like it was, I remember thinking, I've got to get home. It's 2 a.m. And in London, it's really tough. It yeah. sounds like nothing, but it wasn't when Uber was running. And it's not safe either. And it's not safe. And I was like, you're not caring for my safety. I, yeah. You're not paying me properly. And I'm, and I'm having to make my way home. This is not yeah. okay. Get us a car, get us a cab, and we're going to go home this way. Okay, first thing you do when you see your family? Give them a hug and a kiss. My mum's like big on hugs and kisses, so. Well, I bloody hope so. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise you're going to call Dr. Freud. Okay, um, <laughs> your first date. What was your first, first date? Date. I think it was like a, like a cinema visit. I think we went to see a film or something. My teenager. Town. Yeah, and then like TGI Fridays or something silly like that. Yeah. Oh, to have those days back. I know. <laughs> First thing you do when you're stressed? I rub my head. Yeah, it soothes me, like self soothing. Oh, yeah. just that little. And yeah. Do you stop after a while? Or do you just I do stop rub after a while. I feel like I have a full like uh, okay, because I don't know what it is. Maybe there's pressure points in there, but yeah. I do like I rub my head for a little bit and then I feel a little, it sort of like calms me down and then I can think straight. Then you're more, yeah. as we say as kids, then you're more better. Yeah. More then you're more better. better. Okay, finally. Yes. First thing you'll do when this God forsaken pandemic shit show is over. Probably do a live show for people. I miss that a lot. I really miss singing in front of people like Yeah. Or well, you can just go to Central Park and busk it. I, I could make do. 50 bucks. You'd make a good 50 I, bucks. I could, I could probably do that. Do you know that's actually not a bad idea to do a Central Park situation? Where it's I, just like, I'm out here, and if you're out here, stand far enough away, and then we can sing. I'm telling you. The people need you, Arivo. And and honestly, uh, and um, I will say this as, you know, um, someone who knew, who knew you in a certain way, got to know you, and, and seeing how uh, not only you've become the success you've achieved, but seeing how gracious and just straightforward and and kind and very true to yourself which is not a cliche it's true thank a you. huge huge thank you thanks for and your um and you're the best you're amazing thank you guess what yeah you're ace all right you're amazing um how about talk to you later talk to you later love you bye now bye bye, bye. thank you so much for watching 10 first i hope you liked it if you did click the subscribe button this is me clicking uh, below or like or anything to validate me personally and uh, stick around for next week when we'll get more juicy first time.